Hi friends, welcome back. Are you ready? Are you ready to come in and hear a story? Come on in. Miss Becky and I are all ready for you. Hi everybody. Welcome back. We're glad you're here. We have a great story to tell you today, but you know we have to do a couple of things first to get ready. We always have to be ready for our stories. The first thing we're going to do is we've already lit our Christ candle, and I'm going to ask you to go to your supplies, and you're going to get your little Christ candle out, and you're going to turn it on, and you'll leave it on to remind yourselves that this is a sacred space, and Jesus is with us everywhere, every day, all the time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to ask Miss Marty to come and change the circle of the church year calendar. Miss Becky. Hi, Miss Marty. Okay. Look, we're in Lent now. So we're going to move from the first week in Lent to the second week in Lent. Okay. We're all ready. Thank you, Miss Marty. So if you're ready, we're going to tell you a story. Okay, watch where I go to get this story. Let's see. So over here on the parable shelves, oh, here it is. Look at this. All right. Sometimes people wonder what's inside a parable. This parable Will show us. So this is not a parable of Jesus like the other ones you've heard. It's different. Can you tell? It's not gold. And it's not big like the parable boxes. This one's different. This one is a parable of parables. So to find out what's inside a parable, all we have to do is take the lid off. But be very careful. You have to be ready to look inside this parable. Okay. I really want to know what's inside a parable. What? What is this? It's a box inside a box. So... A parable is inside a parable like a box is inside a box? Hmm. Well, I really want to know what's in a, inside a parable, so let's keep looking. Oh my goodness. It's another box inside a box. Okay, so I think I understand that a box is in a box like a parable is in a parable. I still want to know what's in a parable, so let's keep looking. Oh my goodness, another box inside a box. Keep looking. Another box inside a box? Another box inside a box? Oh my goodness, more boxes? There can't be more boxes. Oh my goodness, more boxes. And another box? They're getting so small. How could they even get smaller? Who makes boxes this small? Oh my goodness. This must be what we're looking for. It's kind of gold. So it reminds me of a parable. Let's look inside so we can find out what's inside. Ooh. It's hard to see, isn't it? Well, people who loved parables wanted to keep them and save them. So they put them in a box so that they could always find them, never lose them, and carry them with them everywhere they went because they were very precious. So, the next people that came along that loved parables found this parable. 
but maybe it wasn't just right for them. So they made a new parable and they put it in a box. And the next people that came along, they found this parable and maybe it wasn't just right for them. So they changed it a little bit and they put it in a box and they carried it with them. And the next people came along and they took the parable that they loved also and made it just for them. So boxes inside boxes or parables inside parables. Each one for the people that came next to make it fit just for them. And this kept happening for thousands of years. The people before them made the boxes. They weren't always just right. They didn't always fit them. So they kept making their boxes that were perfect for them. And they loved parables. And now we get to your grandparents who got the parables from the people before them and they made them just the way they wanted them and they put them in a box. And this is the parable of your father and mother, and they made that just for them. A parable inside a parable, a box inside a box. Would you think that's like a gift inside a gift? I wonder who's going to make the next box. And I wonder what this box could really be. And I wonder what that whole line of boxes made. What kind of box is right for you, I wonder? And I wonder if you have ever gotten close to the inside of a parable. So, now, you're going to get out your craft supplies and you're going to find the one that looks like something you're going to see in the picture and you're going to make a craft that reminds you of this story, the parable of parables, the story of a story. So look hard in your craft supplies and you're going to find something that's going to help you make something that reminds you of this story. And when you're finished, your craft and your art response, you'll have a feast and you'll thank God for everything you have, your friends and your family and these wonderful stories. And then you're going to say, Amen. We're going to see you next Sunday. Thanks for watching. See you soon. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Love